This is the website where I found my Android Auto Radio headset even on Q04 Pro. It got 20 years in the market. So this is pretty much the comparison sheet. You can find out what you're looking for, what type of connection, capabilities, memory, and other things that maybe you find out for your vehicle. This is the brackets that I used from Amazon so far for this video. That I noticed is the only part that I fit perfectly from this kit that I bought on Amazon is these brackets, the left and the right side. So I'm going to continue the installation like this because it doesn't affect anything. I just had to cut this gray color plastic to make it fit in my car. But it's only a details and dents that I go outside. If you guys can find something better, that's going to be great. But for my installation, I'm going to continue just like this because the holes and the screw it fit perfectly. How you see in this video, you see it fit just right on the spot. So I'm going to install the microphone and it's going these wires. So I'm just going to plug the microphone right here. And we, if we need make some audio commands, so I'm going to use this. It's good reference to file out about this manual. If you guys can take a look really quick, I'm going to use my SD card, micro SD card for storage of all my music, download the Google Maps and any other videos or data I will install it right here. So now we're going to continue with that radio installation right now. Okay, we want to disconnect the battery. You're going to disconnect the negative wire. Underneath this screw is going to be removed. Using the trim removal tool in my hand, I'm going to pull out the trim from the ignition key right down below. We start this in this way because there is a plastic uh, in this corner of the trim so we don't want to damage the trim now we're going to remove this long trim we're going to start from this corner this trim is a little hard to remove there is glue and in these brackets so we're gonna see a little dark color and each one there is the, the glue over here so now we're gonna remove these two screw on top inside the box we're gonna keep it inside the box we're gonna use it later with this impact driver we're gonna remove these two bolts there is one in each side of the frame fascia from the radio so now we're gonna pull this frame and behind we're gonna disconnect the airbag wire now disconnected we're going to disconnect three connectors on the bottom now there is four bolts in this manufacturing bracket two on top and two on the bottom this hold the entire radio Now we're going to remove the radio and behind the radio you're going to find the harness. The harness got three connectors, one for the speaker, one for 
accessory illumination and other components there is a, a long rectangle connection that is uh, we're gonna track the scenic wheel controller and we wanna make a new adapter for this we're gonna remove the exempt connection we don't need it anymore and we're gonna disconnect the antenna radio for the antenna radio we're gonna use a aftermarket adapter so we're gonna continue using the radio so I noticed in this connector we got a green mark from the manufacturer is the steering wheel controller made from purpose maybe for the technicians uh, this is gonna be the pin for the steering wheel controller and the next one is gonna be the ground just next to and this gray color one the bracket is on the bottom and the, and the brown one is on the middle so there is no way we can get confused with the size or the organized adapters but we're gonna work in this one to make a a new adapter for this make it a clean connection so this is the radio we want to focus on the rear of the radio we're gonna locate the steering wheel controller pin and the ground based on this diagram I locate the key one that's gonna be the pin for the steering wheel controller and the ground is gonna be next to and also in the other connector we locate the illumination wire so we're gonna add all those pins in this uh, adapters connections and make a better connection for this aftermarket radio so this is the adapter that i found on amazon for nine dollars all we're gonna use is two pins this is a 20 pins adapter i'm only gonna use two one for the steering wheel controller and one for the ground so we're gonna locate the steering wheel controller and the ground and we're gonna make a mark on the back so make sure we're gonna use these tools we're gonna borrow some wire from this spare um, adapter so we're gonna use one for the steering wheel controller one for the ground and one for the illumination wire you see I already cut some this is the original one it's coming from Eon radio this is the radio on the back uh, it's the, co the connection is pretty much like a plug and play just like that it's really easy so this is the fuse this is a spare controller this is the fuse for this wire this is a, in case it's a electric shock is going to happen so you can see these labels are really clear so you'll follow this is the the ground wire i made a extension for my adapter and some extra wires the back camera some extra like a steering wheel controller too it's an extra wire i use the green one for key one or a steering wheel controller you see the the back connector helped me to make the extension this orange one is for the illumination so i'm still using the same colors just for reference and this pin is going right in this spot in the empty spot right there i just follow the the white diagram that i found on online so I just push and heard the click and it's firm and ready to go. This is the orange wire right here. So now I want to use the red box with the 20 pins. I want to pull out this wire because I don't need it. It's already coming in the box. So let's just get rid of that. If you need a wire in the future, you'll save it for another purpose. 
Just all I'm gonna do is just pull out and it's out, so save it somewhere. Now I'm gonna, I already marked the steering wheel controller and the ground, so this is going right there. We're gonna connect this pin right there, it's just push it, use the player if you need it because I, some of them got different size. All you have to do is put it in the right place. Now we're going to connect the ground. Sometimes these pins come in with uh, and different things, but let's just make sure everything is going in the right spot. Once it's in, let's see. There we go. We got two pins and this adapter so we can test it with no power in the car just to just, just make sure it's connected you see this picture you see those pins that's the, the way this go now it's connected with no power so just make sure uh, the adapter is right so now i'm gonna use the heat gun i'm gonna drink this I'm gonna shrink all the bad connectors. You can do it one at a time. Use the electrical tape to organize these wires. Something like that. Now we got the two connectors. One for the string wheel controller and the other one for the speakers and something else. It looks good so far. I left the fuse on the sides in case it needed for replacement. And now we got this ready to go. It looks good to me. Now it's ready. It's ready to try it. It looks more organized like this. Yeah, I like it so far. Okay, it's time to put everything in place. We got the radio. We test the brackets. I installed the antenna radio adapter, the GPS, the usual wires that I need. And this going here is the harness. So when the harness is connected, we're gonna plug these connectors. The gray and the brown is going this. And now we're gonna connect the steering wheel controller that we just made. Make sure everything is right in place. So once everything is looks right, it looks yeah, just as as we test before. We wanna put everything back. We wanna screw these four bolts to on top to on the bottom. I'm gonna put the fascia back. I'm gonna put these three connectors. Airbag. Three connectors block. Airbag wire. Don't forget this, it's very important. Put it right there. The two bolts that hold the fascia. The box with the two screw. How you see a slice, the GPS and the microphone wire just right behind this box. It looks fine so far. Okay, so now we're gonna put this drain back on the right place. So just make sure everything clicks. Yeah, use some pressure. Make sure everything is on the right place. Now this trim is completely installed. We're going to 
put the string back from the ignition key. We'll put it back. I'm gonna put this rain back. We're gonna screw this. There we go. Now screw the uh, wheel down right here. So now we're gonna connect the battery. We're gonna make the first test. Now this is the radio. It's gonna start it for first time. It's really quick. We're gonna require some configuration, but we can do it just on the fly, obviously. The image that E on, on radio. Obviously, Android. It takes less than a minute, but there we go. It's loading. All right, we got the temp. GPS is gonna take the time, the local time. So if you have, if you don't have it, just make the configuration and settings and configure the time zone, and you gonna ha and you're gonna have this uh, the time and the date. So we got the GPS, the microphone, the CarPlay USB, maybe for a dongle, but I don't have it yet. Some settings we're going to configure the steering wheel. This configuration is very simple. My steering wheel doesn't have too many buttons. So when we finish with a uh, personal configuration, the volumes, the next and previous buttons. So my favorite is the, the mod set because these buttons, I can just select any other application from the card, so we're gonna activate any mode like navigation, radio, GPS, iPod connection, things like that. So it's pretty much like a tablet. So now I'm gonna press, we're gonna first test, um, yeah, volume, simple. There we go, volume is working. We're gonna press mod, mod, yes, it's switching all the applications. Yeah, radio. Perfect. Now we're gonna search some channels, local or long distance, doesn't matter. Just press search and gonna find all the radio stations that are obviously in your in your distance, in your range. Wow, it's actually a lot of radio station now. Okay, we're gonna press next. Yeah, working, next. Volume. Mode. Every single one are working perfectly, just like expect. Very cool. Yeah, I like it so far. I'm gonna try um, equalizer. Equalizer is one of the previous mode already um, adapted on the radio. So you should select the image and you get your equalization from any type of music you like. Okay, navigation. Dr. Les Navigation, yeah. Yeah, you can download uh, your own map. You can download your own map and use a micro SD card. Stories, music, photos, pictures, video, any other data you can store in this micro SD card. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. OK. 
Okay. Okay, so map. Really fast. I like it. Now, okay, we're gonna switch with the map button, radio. Okay. All right, let me see, I'll try something else. Go on setting. Um, scroll up uh, here, temps, this temps. Okay, there is four for free. So you can use this anytime. It's really quick to switch one temp to the other. How you see, it's just almost instantly the same buttons. Very into it. Very into it now. Let me see. Oh, I'm back for the same one. Uh, I like this one. Now we're gonna check color. Okay, this is for a steering wheel. Controller is part of it. Oh no, this illumination. Illumination, yes, illumination. Yeah, it's working. Dim up, dim down. Switch colors. Yeah, you can switch any color right here. I like blue. I like the blue. Now let me see. For some reason, I'm responding with this button right here. And we use the headlights when it's on and off. Illumination wire is working. Yeah, lights on, lights off. Yeah, I like it pretty cool. And I guess the rest is up to you. This is all I got so far. I'm still learning. Thank you for watching this video.